Good evening, friends. It's Anna back again. It's late on Saturday night as I begin this filming. Probably a little bit after 10 o'clock. You guys will probably see this video sometime tomorrow, which will be Sunday, February 13th. I'm going to go over with you my plans for the melting basket that I plan to melt for this week. I do not plan to get through all of the wax that I pulled out here, but I have to have options. Um, I've been following along with Drew's collab, even though I was not filming videos. So I thought now that I have gotten brave and started filming videos, I would come on and let you guys see. So the first thing I have here is strawberry sop from made to melt and as Lauren Brown says when you see me going off camera um, I've got a bag here I'm gonna be putting my wax into this bag so I'm gonna move it I have a sample of pink haze from Cincy now I I'm not going over scent notes today. I do plan to go over scent notes for everything that I do actually melt when we do empties at the end of the week. I have a sample of sugar. And in case it's because I did forget to say it, this week's theme is red, pink, and white wax for Valentine's Day. I have Vanilla Bean Noel from Made to Melt, which is a pretty light pink that she made this. I have Cincy's bubble gum. These are just some little samples and sampler shots and testers and things that I had. I have cotton candy and I actually picked this up at a Georgia Association of Peri Anesthesia Nursing Conference that I went to with my mom. I could not even tell you the name of the company that it came from. But it does smell just like cotton candy. I'm actually interested to compare this with sugar, which I have in my Scentsy Club, and see how similar they are. I have this, which I don't even know what it is. This is a little red penguin. I know he's one of the Christmas waxes that was available from Scentsy. I did not actually, I was not a cons I just joined as a consultant, so I was actually getting these samples and things from my consultant, and they were not labeled, so I have no idea. But there's this little guy. I have also got these little red pieces that were some Scentsy samples that she sent me. I have inside of this bag, this was a mystery bar that she sent me. Um, let's see what else we have in here. I'm going to get that trash out of the way. I have a sample from Savannah Blue in Jingle, Jingle, Jingle. I have one piece left from Jim's Daughter Craft and Sunday Breakfast. I'm actually probably going to put this in in the morning so that it's going as I'm getting ready on Sunday morning, my Sunday breakfast. And as you can see, it's only one half of a coffee bean, so I will finish that probably. I have... Um... Two little sample hearts from Jim's Daughter's Crafts in Love Potion number nine. They're white hearts. I have one square that's pink and white sample from Jim's Daughter Craft in Pixie Potion. I have a sample from Cincy. Bring back my bar. This last round of cherry limeade. I have here this York Peppermint Patty Wax that was a retail wax that I picked up. It's got two white cubes in it. I'd like to use those. 
I have the remainder of a loaf that I was using last week from Savannah Blue in Merry Cherry Christmas. I have some Christmas Eve fuel from Jim's Daughter Crafts, which is a blend that I actually came up with. It's candy cane, sugar cookies, and espresso. I love my peppermint mocha lattes. So the fact that this happens to be red and it's still a good time of year for peppermint mocha, I thought I would use a piece or two of that. I have the blend that my sweet friend Etta Harrison came up with called Christmas Pop, also from Jim's Daughter Crafts. It's Pine, Cranberry, and Fizzy Pop. Now, I'm reading you the scent notes on these because they're on the packaging. I have from L3 Waxy Wonders, um, the blend Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, which is Lollipops, Lemonade, and Watermelon. Hopefully I can use a piece or two of that. I have from Magic Candle Company, um, Christmas Down Main Street. Yes, these are still like Christmassy wintry, but this is just a good Christmas, like, slightly spiced bakery scent. It's perfect still for this time of year. Just the winter cold makes this still perfect. I do not plan to finish this, but maybe use a cube or two here. I also have Christmas Shop from Magic Candle Company. I may or may not even use this. It may be too spicy for this as we're edging into spring because this is a lot of cinnamon in that, which I love. I love these scents, but it may be the wrong time of year for it. I have a mostly full bar here of Wild Black Cherry from since it's June 2021. Bring back my bar. You can see it's a very dark red. This one is hard for me to use. And, but I may try to use a cube or two of it. I'll be glad when this bar is gone and we do not have any more Wild Black Cherry in the house. But I'm going to try to use a cube or two of it just to help get rid of it. I have Cincy's happy birthday. I have three cubes left of this pink wax. I may or may not use this. I try to use happy birthday only around someone's birthday. And so I may actually not end up using this this week. Um, a little spoiler, I will be using a piece of this on February 27th. I'll tell you guys about that in the melting basket for that weekend. Um, I have a five cubes here in this bar of Angel Experiment 64. She is a very light pink wax. I have four cubes here of Cinnamon Bear, another one that I may or may not get to. Because it is straight cinnamon and I love cinnamon. But again, may not be the right time of year. I have five cubes here of Strawberry Swirl. A very, like, baby pink wax. Um, I hope to use some of that. I have five cubes here of First Kiss Fireworks. Hope to use a cube or two of that. Now, again... Will not get through everything that I pulled out. I still have a ton of wax to go through. I have a full bar. My first, it will be my first warming if I get to it, of pink cotton, which is also a light pink wax. I have a full bar, will be my first warming, of Star Wars Dark Side of the Force red wax. I have here, now this one is a stretch. I'm calling it a pink, even though it's almost a purpley pink. A full bar, although I have worn this scent before. Berry Blessed. I have a full bar 
of the light pink mauvey pink wax cloudberry greens I have a full bar will be my first warming of love story which I just thought was perfect I have to have love story in Valentine's week right and it's a red wax so that's perfect I have here a pink wax watermelon patch I've worn this one before this is actually a lot of these are my club scents but it's a new bar I have cashmere and corduroy, which is a dark pink, almost red looking wax. This will be my first warming. Just because I haven't smelled it in a while, I had to smell that. This will be my first warming of that if I get to it. I have a bar of Petal Pals, which is a very light pink wax from last year's Valentine's collection in my club. Love this scent. I have a bar of Pillow Time from the Catching Z's collection last January 2021. Very light pink wax. Excuse me. What do they say? It wouldn't be a video if you didn't drop something, right? I have Spring Forward from the June Bring Back My Bar. A very pretty pink wax. I have Sugared Strawberry. Very pretty pinkish red. Oh my goodness, this will be my first warming of this. I am excited to try this. It's in my club, cannot wait. Um, pink sugar berry mint, a favorite, was sugar strawberry and pink sugar berry mint have come out of my club because they are currently available. Love them. Strawberry swirl, in fact, like I said, a lot of these scents are in my club. So, I have plenty of these scents. This is Fiji Flower from last summer collection. A beautiful pink wax. This one is not in my club, but I'm kicking myself because it should have stayed in my club. I took it out because the first bar that I warmed, I thought it was too light, but after it cured for a while, it definitely should have stayed in my club. This is the currently available scent, Disney Princess True Love Awaits. A beautiful pink wax. If you know me, you know I'm a Disney fan, so all of these Disney scents that I'm having the opportunity to warm, it's just an added bonus this week. I have Sweet Pea and Vanilla, a beautiful reddish pink wax. I have the dark red wax of Snow Kissed Cranberry. This one is in my club, and I'm so glad it is. I will never, ever... Oh my gosh, I cannot get enough. I will never ever remove Snow Kissed Cranberry from my club. Bear with me, I gotta get some more wax. <sighs> Bear with me a little bit longer. I've gotta go retrieve wax that I just dropped over the side. But first, I'm going to gather up the rest of these bars. I have to step off camera one more time and just go retrieve a couple of bars. I'll be right back and we'll finish going over what I have for you.
Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. I have the bar that I went to retrieve that fell off. Watermelon tangerine. I'm so glad this came back. I removed it from my club because it's currently available. But it's a favorite and it will go back in my club if it retires again. I have the Cars Inspired Scent Radiator Springs, which is a very pretty red wax. This watermelon tangerine was peachy pink. Did not show you that, I don't believe. I have this Earth Goddess Treasure Box Wax Company Leprechaun Love that is a beautiful pink wax. I have to open this one and show you because she, oh my word, look at this glitter. Look, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to warm that one. I have four cubes left from the June 2021 Bring Back My Bar of Rock and Ruby Raz, which is a reddish pink wax. I have a white wax in Snowberry. There's six cubes in this bar. Excited. Oh my gosh, I love Snowberry. It's so unique. Perfect still for this time of year. Cannot wait to warm some more of that. I have Hibiscus Pineapple, which I'm so glad is back this season. It was in my club, and if it retires, it will go back in my club. Beautiful scent, beautiful pink wax. Thrilled to be able to warm a cube of this. And welcome spring. I have Bloomin' Beach from last Mother's Day collection. This one is not in my club. There were too many similar scents. But I'm thrilled to be able to use a cube or two of the bar that I do have. I have here pink sugarberry mint, which I think I've already had a bar of pink sugarberry mint out. Um, and if I did, I'm sorry. I'm you guys, I'm still new to this video thing. I try not to get out duplicates, but nobody's perfect, right? I have Strawberry Rose, which is a mauve pink wax. Beautiful. Told you guys, I think I had already gone over Spring Forward as well. I have here a half a bar, four cubes of Shut Eye from the Catching Z's collection. This one is currently in my club, although... I am going to compare this to the Vitamin U Unwind in the All Is Well collection when I get it in. And I may be replacing this one with that Vitamin Unwind wax because there's a special meaning to me to the name of that collection, the All Is Well collection. So I may very well be replacing this scent, but I do have... These four cubes plus a couple of bars. So I'm hoping that I can use some of this. I have Pina Colada Cha Cha, which is a beautiful white wax. I have Fresh Cut Daisies from the June 2021 Bring Back My Bar. Another white wax. Not in my club, but worth using some of. I have half a bar here of Perfect Peppermint. This one is one of my winter favorites. It's in my club currently, but I thought I could use the partial bar. A, a piece or two of it. Probably mix that with some more coffee because I love my, like I said, I love my peppermint mochas. What better week for them than Valentine's Day? So I might do those together. Also, I love this perfect peppermint in the bathroom. So it might very well get put in there. 
two more bars and we'll be done, you guys. Thank you for bearing with me. We have Disney Moana Spirit of Montanui. I loved this one. Um, but it's very similar to Watermelon Patch to me. So I did not keep this in my club because I could save 50 cents by putting Watermelon Patch in my club and taking this one out. Um, but I did get a couple of bars, like, you know, save the sticker because I'm a Disney nerd off of one of them. And then I do things with Disney clamshells for children that I know based on their favorite Disney characters. I'll take the clamshells from Disney wax bars and create things for them. I have, finally, Aloha Citrus, which is another pretty pink pinkish red wax and that is everything that I have pulled out for my pink red and white melting basket I thank you guys for bearing with me for this little over 20 minute video actually I feel like that's really good for me to have gone through as much wax as I did in that time frame, like I said, I will pull scent notes for the things that I do melt. And I will have notes when I go over my empties slash what I melted video. So just bear with me. Bear with me as these videos are a little bit rough as I'm learning how to do this. Um, thank you guys and I will see you at the end of the week for what I melted and empties.